Governor Scott Walker is set to address the gathering of conservatives known as CPAC this week. He'll join a slew of other potential 2016 Republican candidates, including Jeb Bush and Chris Christie. However, despite a recent rise in the polls, the Wisconsin governor is hitting some bumps in the road. He's now under scrutiny for comments made over the weekend when he told the Washington Post he didn't know if President Obama was a Christian. It's not the first time Walker has struggled to answer questions in recent weeks. While in London, he dodged the question on evolution. And last week, refused to distance himself from Rudy Giuliani's comment that President Obama does not love America. With me now is MSNBC political correspondent Casey Hunt. Casey, good morning. Good morning, Jose. So the, the governor has, has won three statewide elections in four years. Are, are party leaders viewing these recent events as him not ready for national prime time or, or gotcha journalism? Jose, this is, I think, an example of Scott Walker's particular brand of politics, which is as this sort of unwavering conservative warrior. You remember that he's fought three elections in four years to become governor. He's really taken on unions in his state of Wisconsin. And if you've listened to how he's answered these repeated questions on these topics in the last couple of days, he's basically said the same thing over and over and over again. And that's kind of how his spokeswoman uh, described it when she walked his comments back. Those comments were made about the president's religion to the Washington Post. And uh, their spokeswoman called the Post after the interview was done and said, you know what, uh, Governor Walker does believe uh, that the president is a Christian. So we should note that they are walking them back. And this is an example of how this kind of comment can get elevated in a way uh, when it's on the presidential stage that it almost never does at the state level. And Walker is somebody who's argued that he's been in the national spotlight because of those gubernatorial races and his recall and how intense all of that fighting was. But I think this goes to show you that even that kind of a, a, a race back at home doesn't quite prepare you for what can go on at the presidential level. No, and the level of press scrutiny. I mean, they're, they're saying that these kinds of questions are examples of things that the press always wants to know about, but that, you know, the regular folks don't really care about. That's, that's their logic. That is their logic, and you know, there's certainly you could certainly spend a lot of time arguing over whether or not that's the case. But you're going to face a wide variety of questions from all corners, whether it's the press, whether it's voters. You know, this kind of thing has come up in the past, and other Republican politicians have handled it differently. It often has come from voters. John McCain confronted a question along these lines uh, during a town hall meeting, and he's you know repudiated that and said, you know what, I I believe that the president's motives are good, that he is Christian, etc. So I mean, you've seen different examples of how people. People have handled this, and it hasn't always come from the press.